Hi all, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a short tutorial to teach you how to train your own custom image classifier with React Native and TensorFlow. So there are many many tutorials out there that teaches you how to load a pre-trained model on React Native such as PostNet, ImageNet and so on and so forth. However, there isn't much materials out there that teaches you how to train your own machine learning model on your own application. So today I'm going to bridge this gap so that more developers can have their hands on machine learning tool to improve their app for the users. Okay, so now to train and deploy your image classifier, there are five simple steps. First, we need to label and collect the images from the camera. So as you can see, uh, we will be collecting three classes. Class A is a GoPro, Class B is a thermometer, and lastly, Class C is a highlighter. So after collecting these images, we will be resizing them to 224 by 224 pixel so that we are able to feed into the mobile net model to get the embeddings. So what are embeddings? You can imagine embeddings as a set of array that uniquely identify each images. So with the label and embeddings, we are able to train the K nearest neighbor classifiers to recognize each embeddings belong to which class. So once the classifier is being trained, you'll be able to predict that this set of array belongs to the thermometer, which is class B. Uh, here are some of the prerequisites that you should have before continuing. So first, you need to have React Native and Expo. And next, you can download my source code from my GitHub link over here. And lastly, for this tutorial, I'm using this set of NPM packages. So no worries, all the links will be available down the description box below. So if there's any future updates, please see the description box below so that you are able to get the latest materials. Okay, so now let's download my source code over here. So you just copy and paste it in. So to download my source code is very simple. You just press here and download zip file. Okay, so after downloading my code, you can open it up with your favorite IDE. So for myself, I'm using Visual Studio. So open up this app.js file over here and you'll be able to see this set of code. So scroll all the way down over here until you see step one. So this step is exactly what I've explained earlier. There are five simple steps to train and deploy your model. First, we need to collect and label the images from the camera. So as you can see, once the button is being pressed, Let's say class A is being selected, you actually take a photo from the camera and resize the image into 224 by 224 pixel. So after resizing the image, it will convert the image into a tensor so that we are able to feed into the mobile net model to get the embeddings. So you can see to get the embeddings is very simple. We will be using mobile net.infer to get the embeddings from the model. And you can see it's over here. So to train the model, it's as simple as calling the KNN classifier model dot add example. So what we will put inside is the resize image and the class name. And once everything is done, you can scroll all the way down. To get a prediction, you will press another button. So it will actually analyze the photo, do all the necessary preparation. And here, this line of code, KNN classifier model dot predict class will actually tell you what is the most probable class that the image belong to. Whether is it a GoPro, thermometer or highlighter. So now allow me to demonstrate how the application works. So to start the app is very simple. So you just need to go to the terminal, new terminal and click npm start. Okay, so once it started, you'll be able to access it on your mobile phone. So make sure you download this app called Expo so that you are able to get the program on your phone. Okay, so after starting up your Expo app, you'll be able to see this KNN image classifier app on your phone. So just click it and you'll be able to access the application. So now you'll be able to see three buttons, which is class A, class B and class C. So this is for data collection and labeling. So then now, we will be labeling class A first, which is a GoPro. So we will take images of the GoPro. So you just press the class A button to take the images. You can take a few images from different angles. 
so that the model will be better. Okay, so now let's take the thermometer. And lastly, let's take a highlighter. Okay, so now let's test our model. So here, it should be able to predict there is a class B. So just click the predict button. And see, it is predicting that it's class B. So let's say this, it should give you class C. And lastly, GoPro, you just click predict, it should give you class A. Okay, so with this, I have come to the end of the tutorial. If you like my channel, do remember to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for your time. I hope you learned something from this.